Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we will consider one of the very important topics of uh, digital signal processing, which is circular convolution. In this numerical, two sequences are given. One is x1 of n, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, and x2 of n, which is 4, 3, 2, 2. The task is to find its uh, convolution, which is y of n, uh, given as x1 of n convolved circularly convolved with x2 of n. So how do I find the, the find this uh, find the answer? I would recommend you to watch this video till end so that we will explore how to find the circular convolution. This uh, numerical can be solved in uh, two ways. One is in time domain and another is in frequency domain. Frequency domain is nothing but uh, Stockham's approach. Uh, first, we'll consider time domain approach, and uh, I would say that is the, the easiest method. Stockham's approach uh, we'll consider it later. So if I write the formula for circular convolution, what would be the formula for circular convolution? It is a very well known formula, we all know it. Y of n is equal to summation m equal to 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m multiplied with x2 of n minus m. The only thing is there are two parentheses. These two parentheses indicates it is not just the time shift, it is circular time shift. And looking at the numerical and looking at this formula, uh, we need y of n, that is the convolution, answer circular convolution. And here I have x1 of m, but it is given as x1 of n. So replace n with m, we will get x1 of m. Later we need x2 of n minus m. So again replace this n with m, we would get the x2 of m. But what we want? n minus m. Uh, plus m has to become minus m for that it has to be folded and n minus m is the shift so that those things will perform for that I'll just uh, write the table uh, things become very easy for us so I'll just write the variable n and I also write the first uh, sequence which is nothing but x1 of m and the second uh, sequence x2 of n minus m. This is what we want as per this formula. And lastly, I could find the output y of n. So what could be the value for n? n can take four values because it is a four point DFT. Look at x1 of n and x2 of n. Both are of uh, sequences of length uh, four. Hence, y of n must also be of length four. So what is the what are those four values which n can take? Which are 0, 1, 2 and 3. So these are the four values n can take. What is x1 of m? Whatever it has been given. x1 of n is given. Replace n with m. We, we would get x1 of m which is 1, 2, 3, 1. So this sequence will remain same for all the iterations. So here also I would write the same thing 1, 2, 3, 1 and similarly for this which is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 1. And lastly also it would remain the same 1 2 3 1 so now I need to get x2 of n minus m but only x2 of n is given so how do I get that uh, for that uh, let me consider uh, this circle which is uh, very helpful for me to find that so just I'll draw one circle over here and I said it is a four point DFT I would uh, indicate uh, those four points something like this first point second point third point fourth point so now let me write this uh, sequence which is 4 3 2 2 so whatever I'm writing now one has to write it in a clockwise direction if I read it in clockwise direction I would get x2 of m similarly if I read it in other way around which is anti-clockwise I would get x2 of minus m so this is the circularly folded sequence. Getting it? So next, put n equal to 0 first, in the first iteration. It becomes x2 of minus m. x2 of minus m is nothing but the reflected version of x2 of m, which is, uh, I have to read it this way, 4, 2, 2, 3. So that's what uh, I write now. So which is 4, 2, 2, 3. So this is the first sequence. So now I got uh, two sequences. Uh, to get y of n, I need to multiply these two term by term. Later, add all those things. So first it is a 1 into 4. I get a 4. 
plus 2 into 2 which is 4 again plus 3 into 2 which turns out to be 6 and lastly 1 into 3 it is 3. So add up all those things it is uh, 4 plus 4 8 uh, plus 6 uh, 14 plus 3 turns out to be 17. So this is the first sample. Similarly I to have to get it for second iteration by placing n equal to 1. So if I put n equal to 1 it becomes x2 of 1 minus m. I already have x2 of minus m. How do I get x2 of 1 minus m? Shift everything uh, to the right by one more time. So I said the shift everything these things to the right. What happens to the last digit? It gets shifted to the extreme left. So 3 whatever I have it gets shifted uh, to the extreme left. So it becomes 3 here. So these elements get shifted uh, to the right by 1. 4, 2, 2. Getting it? So 4 came here, 2 came here and 2 this comes here. And whatever 3 it comes here. Getting it? So now we got the sequence x2 of 1 minus m. So multiply again the term by term. So first it is a 1 into 3 which is 3 plus 2 into 4 it is uh, 8. 3 into 2 it is uh, 6 plus lastly 1 into 2 it turns out to be 2. So add up all those things. So what do I get? It is uh, 11. 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 6 17 plus 2 turns out to be 19. So next what do I have? I uh, have to get x2 of uh, 2 minus m. Why 2 minus m? Because n takes the value 2. So it becomes x2 of 2 minus m. So what is the answer? So shift the signal again one more time. So 2 comes uh, at the beginning and the rest keep shifting to the right. So this would be 3, this is 4 and this gets 2. Getting it? So this is how I get the shifted thing. So I got this. Multiply just everything term by term and add them up. So 1 into 2 it is 2 plus 2 into 3 it is 6 plus 3 into 4 it is 12 plus 1 into 2 it is going to be 2. So I have now 6 plus 2 8 uh, plus 12 20 plus 2 22. The third uh, sample is 22. And uh, similarly get the last one x2 of 3 minus m. I already have x2 of 2 minus m. Shift the signal again uh, one more time. So this 2 comes to the extreme left, the first uh, sample. Next everything gets shifted to the right. 3 and 4. Getting it? This is how the shifting is happening. And I, I get x2 of 3 minus m. Again multiply everything term by term and towards the end add them all. This is a 1 into 2 at the beginning. Plus uh, 2 into 2 it is a 4. Then I have 3 into 3 it is a 9. And uh, lastly, I have uh, 1, 2, this is 1. Hence, it is 1 into 4, 4. So just add them everything. What I'm going to get, uh, this is uh, 2 plus 4 is 6, uh, plus 4, uh, uh, plus 9, uh, which is uh, 6, plus 9 is 15, plus 4, 19. So this is what I get uh, towards the end. So ultimately I would write the answer as y of n equal to. What would be y of n is equal to which is 17, 19, 22 and lastly 19. So this is the answer for uh, circular convolution y of n. Hope you all have understood. Uh, if there are any doubts please let me know in the comment section. I will definitely answer them. And uh, meanwhile don't uh, uh, forget to subscribe to our channel ng classes. Do subscribe and watch for uh, more videos on uh, circular convolution and uh, even uh, more videos on uh, digital signal uh, processing. Thanks for watching.